Well, good evening, everyone. I hope you're doing well. And this is your Royal Daily News for October 2nd, 2022. In Paris, Her Serene Highness Princess Charlene of Monaco attended the Acris Spring Summer pret a porter fashion show. After the show, the princess took to social media to thank her longtime friend and creative director for the House of Acris, Mr. Albert Kremler, stating, quote, Thank you, Albert, for a wonderful evening, and congratulations on a hundred years of perfection, end quote. Last evening in Monte Carlo, his Serene Highness Prince Albert II of Monaco attended the gala benefit dinner, Dreaming in Azur, held at the Hotel Hermitage. The event was organized by the Venetian Arts Foundation with a musical performance by singer-songwriter Mika. In Copenhagen, Her Majesty Queen Margrethe II of Denmark, as patron, attended the 100th anniversary celebration of Danish physicist Niels Bohr winning the Nobel Prize as well as Her Majesty the Queen's Golden Jubilee Year, held at Christiansborg Slot. The celebration was organized by the Royal Danish Society of Sciences. As patron of the RDSS, every year Her Majesty the Queen presents the Queen Margrethe II's Science Prize. The prize is worth 100,000 DKK. In Den Haag, Her Royal Highness Princess Beatrix of the Netherlands, as patron, attended the opening of the exhibition entitled 175 Years of the Paul Cree Studio. Established in 1847 by painters such as Hardenberg and Van Hove, the purpose of the Paul Cree Studio was to promote the interests of visual arts and art appreciation. During yesterday's event, the princess received the first copy of the anniversary book Paul Cree Studio 175 Years. According to RBD, the exhibition showcases, quote, combined works by artists and masters from the time of the Hague School as a tribute to their contribution to art. The exhibition also displays self-portraits in the form of photos, paintings, drawings, and sculptures, a room dedicated to new media and digital art, and a separate exhibition area dedicated to young female artists, end quote. Meanwhile, in a recent poll by the Ipsos Research Agency, found that only 51% of the people of the Netherlands supports the monarchy. According to the Dutch Broadcasting Network, NOS, the poll was, quote, commissioned by the pro-Republican association, Republic, formerly called the Republican Society. The King's Day poll that Ipsos carried out annually on behalf of NOS already showed that support for the monarchy is under pressure. At the time, 58% of the Dutch supported the monarchy for the second year in a row. In 2020, almost three-quarters of the Dutch still supported the monarchy. End quote. Yesterday afternoon, in London, Buckingham Palace released a new photo of Their Majesties King Charles III and the Queen Consort of the United Kingdom and Their Royal Highnesses the Prince and Princess of Wales. The stunning image was taken by well-known royal press photographer Mr. Chris Jackson before the state reception for foreign royals and heads of state at Buckingham Palace on Sunday, September 18, 2022. The portrait behind the royal family is of the Prince of Wales, later known as His Majesty King George IV. In Luxembourg City, Her Royal Highness Grand Duchess Maria Theresa of Luxembourg as patron of the Luxembourg Red Cross, presided over the presentation of Red Cross medals to blood donors. Prior to the presentation of the medals, the Grand Duchess thanked the 13,719 donors who are currently registered on the Blood Transfusion Center list. The Grand Duchess also congratulated the 1,388 donors who made their first donation last year. Moreover, the Grand Duchess was incredibly delighted with the 22,365 blood donations made in 2021, a figure that is up 2.9%. Then, Grand Duchess Maria Theresa presented 153 blood donors with either gold, silver, or bronze medals. In Amman, His Majesty King Abdullah II of Jordan participated in a meeting with various Jordanian government officials at Al-Husseinia Palace. 
Discussions focused on His Majesty's recent visit to New York City, where he participated in the 77th United Nations General Assembly, his visit to Japan, where he held a meeting with His Imperial Majesty Emperor Norohito of Japan, his recent working visit to France, and much more. Meanwhile, the Hashemite royal court announced that Their Majesties King Abdullah II and Queen Rania of Jordan, accompanied by His Royal Highness Crown Prince Al Hussein bin Abdullah II of Jordan, will begin a two-day official visit to Muscat, Amman, at the invitation of His Majesty Sultan Haitham bin Tariq Al Said of Amman, beginning on Tuesday, October 4, 2022. There are deep-rooted historical ties between the Sultanate of Amman and the Kingdom of Jordan. The upcoming visit will, quote, deepen the fraternal ties and strengthen commercial exchange and cooperation in the fields of tourism, scholarly, and cultural specializations." End quote. In Muscat, His Majesty Sultan Haitham bin Tariq al Said of Amman issued three royal decrees this morning. Royal Decree Number 60, 2022, on delegating climatic affairs specializations to the Environment Authority from the Civil Aviation Authority. Royal Decree 61, 2022, endorses Oman joining the International Convention for the Suppression of Acts of Nuclear Terrorism. Royal Decree No. 62, 2022, conducts placements and appointments in the diplomatic court. I thought you'd find that fascinating. Also in Muscat, His Highness Saeed Belarab bin Haitham bin Tariq al Said of Oman attended the launch of the National Program for Capacity Building in Urban Planning, which targets middle and senior urban planning leaders in the state's administrative apparatus. The program, which is an initiative of the Ministry of Housing and Urban Planning, includes economic planning, urban innovation, urban planning, smart cities, flexible governance, digital transformation, design thinking, and community participation. In Timpu, His Majesty King Jimmei Kesar Wangchuk of Bhutan held an audience with individuals participating in the fourth international conference on Vajrayana Buddhism. The four-day conference is organized by the Center of Bhutan, GNH Studies, and the Central Monastic Body, the CBS. According to a press release, speakers and attendees from around the world, quote, gather in Bhutan to discuss a diverse range of topics from the history and techniques of the practice of Vajrayana Buddhism and how it fits in a modern and digital world, end quote. In Andorra, Her Serene Highness Hereditary Princess Sophie of Liechtenstein, as president of the Liechtenstein Red Cross, attended the annual meeting of the Small European National Societies. The Small European National Societies are nine European Red Cross organizations from the countries of Andorra, Iceland, Liechtenstein, Luxembourg, Malta, Monaco, Montenegro, San Marino, and Cyprus. In September 2023, Liechtenstein will host the annual Small European National Societies meeting. And finally, Prince Albert von Thun und Taxis visited the beautiful village of Cornello, Italy. Whilst there, he visited a museum, ate delicious food, hung out with the locals, and, well, generally had a fabulous time. And there you have it. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will be back tomorrow on Monday, October 3rd with all the latest royal news. Until then, I wish you all a wonderful, relaxing Sunday evening and most importantly, a great week ahead. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Okay, take care everyone. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.